What is up you guys, welcome back to another video, it's Phantom here, and in today's video we're going to be exploring the Wayback Machine. And if you guys don't know what the Wayback Machine is, it's basically an archive or a website that basically saves other websites in order for people to view them later on. So like let's say if you want to go to youtube.com, you can search it up right here. And it has a bunch of different years on here for when they saved captures from that website. So let's say you want to go back to the good old YouTube back in like 2014, 2015. You could basically come on here and see, I guess you could technically see your favorite YouTubers grow if they have those archives saved. But I came here to check out the 2010 because I'm pretty sure that's when I started using YouTube. So I guess we'll just go right here, March 17. You can click one of the snapshots and then it'll basically load up the website from how it was then. And you can see right here good old YouTube the old the old YouTube website I I've never watched any of these videos when I was uh, younger but they used to have uh, they, they still have these categories but as you can see one person took up three of the categories which is Back then was a huge deal. So I think we could check out the little tabs. I'm not sure. This is my first time going through it. Oh yes you can. There you go. This is this is the reason why I wanted to come back on here. Because the re I was thinking about the annoying orange. And then here's Ray William Johnson equals three, Machinima, Shane, Shane Dawson, a bunch of these YouTubers that these are OG YouTubers. I'm, I don't know. I know um, this guy still makes videos. I'm, I think this guy does as well. Shane Dawson does. Uh, Ray William Johnson. He he quit YouTube. Or he's trying to make a comeback. I'm not sure. So we're gonna click on the annoying orange, which is why I came on here. And yep, good old annoying orange. This, this right here was, well, I wouldn't say it was a golden age of YouTube, but everybody was basically making YouTube videos because they wanted to share their creativity on the internet. It wasn't, it wasn't for the money, basically. So, I mean, what can we do, huh? All right, so let's see, we can go on. 2015 so remember how this website looks right now because it's gonna change because this is I think five years later and they changed they revamped their whole website and they changed it So we're about to check it out right now Yep, there we go. You see Revamped it. This is how YouTube is now And honestly, I kind of like it like this more because it's more Personalized to the person. I don't know why it's a uh, Russian this is Russian. Not too sure. Oh yeah, the slow mo guys. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to come on here and check out old websites. Let's look at Yahoo before they uh, went bankrupt because uh, some bad uh, business deals. You guys don't know about that. Yahoo actually went bankrupt, or not bankrupt, but they got bought by. Verizon, I think. I forgot who they got bought by, but they could have bought Google for, I think it was $2 billion back in the day, and then they said no. So now they're kind of they kind of messed up. So we can go back all the way to 2001. I wasn't even born at this time, and you can check out how Yahoo used to look back in the day. Yeah, look at the good old 19, no, this is in the 1900s. 
check email, messenger. I can go even further. We can go 1997. So we're gonna check that out. Mm-hmm. Yup. Cool. New today's news. More yeah. So let's check their competitor, Google. You can also check Facebook. You can check any website as long as it's famous or like well known or people use it, then you could basically find archives of it. And Google has a lot of captures, five million. Uh, the old Google logo. So you can go through all of these. Like they have a ton of captures. Like I'm surprised they can actually keep up with all these these data, all this data, because it's a lot of websites. It's a lot of captures to take, and it's like every day. I'm pretty sure they have to like I guess screenshot the information from the website and basically document it onto their own website. It's a lot of work. A lot of work. So it's loading, I think. I used this machine on another video that I had uploaded uh, for FunBrain because I remember back in the day when I used to play FunBrain, the website looked way different than it does now. You know, the good old days. So I guess they didn't change their logo for a while because I know that now it's different. It's not like this anymore. It's more modernized I'd say like the shadows aren't there this is 2013 I think this is when they changed their logo hmm. actually why am I using this I can just yeah like see it's more modernized and the last website I want to check is Facebook whoops can't type Facebook.com.net, Facebook.com.in, something went wrong, uh, I think, here we go, hopefully this works, mm, yeah, yep, ah, the old Spotify logo, Sound, you know, SoundCloud existed in 2012. Dang, I was what? Dang, I was quite young actually. Yeah, I remember this login page. I remember my mom would always go on here. Pretty cool, honestly. I like this website. It's like a good nostalgia trip, basically. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and hopefully, I will make more content that you guys can appeal to. And yeah, guys, peace out. Take care.